Good morning, guys. So last night we took the stage at home and as you can see, it does not look as low as last night because this thing barely made it home. It was way too low. The bumper was so low to the ground. I just was hitting everything. I couldn't take it anymore. So I went ahead and raised it. It is still pretty low. I didn't ruin the bumper, thank God. But I did have to raise it a bit. The rear was a little bit higher than the front, so I kind of just evened it out. It looks decent, but this thing really needs coilovers because right now it just has like adjustable spring setups that you can do. It's not proper fully adjustable coilovers. So anyways, I just wanted to do a little video on the Stagia. So we got the keys. I haven't quite showed you guys the Stagia. It's very much like an R34, I wanna say. Cluster's kind of the same, steering wheel's kind of the same. Center console, I don't know, a little bit different, but can I just say that this is the ultimate family car. Check it out. We got two sunroofs. I didn't even know Stagia's had two sunroofs, which is super unnecessary, but so necessary if you have kids and you're on road trips and you wanna open up both sunroofs. That's awesome. The interior is pretty old school looking, has some weird patterns on it. I'm sure there's other interior options, but this is just the rear wheel drive turbo model. It's not the all wheel drive RB26 model. And one thing I didn't know is like Stagia is like a unicorn. I thought it's just because it had R34 front. These were like custom stickers or something. But I guess Stadia is a unicorn skyline. And that's why everyone puts R34 fronts on them. A lot of these things did come automatic. This one is a manual swap. Previous owner cut out this area, installed the handbrake, did a five speed swap. So it's kind of custom, but looks fairly OEM. Also had to do the clutch. I know how hard that is because I did buying my S15 and it was a nightmare. It's nice not having to do this again. Car already came swapped. Let's talk about some of the stuff it has here. What does it have? I haven't really looked at much. Oh, that's nice to have. I'm not sure if this is an OEM option or if they installed this. Never see that in a normal car. You got your regular plugs. Turn it on off. I gotta clean that out. <laughs> pretty standard stuff. The cup holders are pretty cool. Kind of wonky, but I'll take it. Yeah, I mean, there's not much. This thing is pretty much stock. This is what a Stagia looks like. It's kind of like an R34, really though. I know there is one cool trick in the trunk. I haven't done it yet, so you guys can do it with me. I remember seeing a Stagia way back in the day. There's some buttons here. Okay, 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 extra compartment. Okay, there's your spare tire, but there's these weird door handles here. And I haven't used them yet, but I remember something about these making the seats go down. Go! Yeah! <laughs> what is one? Does this one work good? Sick! You gotta love it. Look how much space this is. You can literally put a bed in here if you wanted. I mean, it's the ultimate family car, in my honest opinion. Maybe not being this low and having not the best suspension, but I can totally see this thing being the best like camping slash sports vehicle. Anyways, I just wanted to give a little rundown on this thing. Let's go into the engine bay. So, sorry if it's windy guys. It's pretty common for Stagia's to have rust, a lot of rust because they're normally in like the snow cities because they're usually all wheel drive. This one is the rear wheel drive RB25 DET model. They have the all wheel drive with the RB26 from the GTR from factory. It's called the 260RS Stagia. Yes, I wanted that, but this will do just fine. It's got the R34 front, some custom brackets to hold the bumper, to hold the headlights. Nothing too special underneath the hood. Just your normal RB25 DET factory in this car. Arrow wise, I'm not too sure what kind of arrow this thing has. You know, it's got some like GTR style front bumper. I haven't looked into the brand. I know a lot of people are asking, what kind of kit is this? I have no idea, to be honest. But it's a pretty cool kit. It's got some wing on there that makes it pretty aggressive looking. I mean, the car honestly is perfect. All I had to do was buy wheels. Literally, the thing was done. Normally, I like building my cars, but when you find a car this good and you don't have to do anything, Sometimes that is nice. But yeah, I just want to give a little rundown on the new Stagia. It might be for sale. I'm thinking about posting it. I kind of want to just get new coilovers for this thing, drive it around a bit and see if it is like a good family car. I really haven't even taken it out yet. I just got some temporary plates and now I got to go register this thing. If you're interested in this, DM me ASAP. We can talk numbers. 
everything is for sale, as you guys know. But right now, we gotta head over to Nico's and finish up the drift car. I get to the yard, and Nico brings me a fresh bento. Arigato, Nico! Gotta eat before we work. All right, we're done eating. Time to jam on the S15. Like I've been saying, this thing just needs an alignment. And I also ordered black couplers because this blue is driving me nuts. Those are still on the way. We're gonna have to wait for those. But as you can see, alignment's all whacked out. Towed out in the front here. This side's looking decent. Nico's gonna pull the truck out. We're gonna get this thing on the flats. Do a nice little alignment out there. Boring stuff, but I'm ready. This thing has come a long way. I don't know if you guys know, but two months ago, this car literally looks like this. Bone stock, S15, automatic, and look what she's turned into. It's freaking just like my old car. Nothing special, <laughs> but it's come a long way. Nico's got this little guy holding the steering wheel. This is essential when you're doing alignment because before we never had this, so we'd mess with the toe and the steering wheel would be moving. So by the time we're finished, the steering wheel will be all crooked and it's just a nightmare. So this little guy, he's gonna help us today. All right, pull this thing out to the flats, start jamming. This side is super towed in, as you can see. This is supposed to be right here. You can already do this side. We are at zero degrees tow. That's where it needs to be. The rear is not too off. Mind you, we haven't done alignment since this car was last flipped. This is all the same suspension from when the car flipped. New tie rods should be on point here in a second. A little bit. There, right there, perfect. Zero and zero so front alignment is looking pretty proper and most importantly the little guy's doing his job steering wheel straight now we gotta do the rear pretty straightforward for rear we gotta swap put this little front piece on the rear and this rear piece on the front let's do it all right you guys bored yet I'm freaking nerding out over here so as you can see we gotta go a little bit toe out. Dang, my wheel got messed up. Bango. This guy right here. Where are we at? So, this side is pretty much zero. That means the other side is a little bit towed in. So, we'll pull that out. Zero. Freaking done. Perfect. All right. Almost finished. First test drive. This thing is actually on the road. Driving. Let's get it. Did it. I haven't tried to boost it. I want to see how much boost. Point eight is about the same. It needs at least one bar. Point eight is kind of. Nah, we're we're really conservative boost right now. But I don't know if the clutch is slipping or the wheels are slipping. <laughs> <laughs> It's getting louder, but the car's not really pulling, so that kind of worries me. But at least the thing is driving, it's on the road. Finally, I'm happy. Get this thing back to the yard. Gotta do the couplers, and then we can finally take it home. We did it, boys. Barbecue at the yard. It's been a while. It's been a while, all right? right. <laughs> and some spare ribs. We need some mixed karubi. What is this, some seasoned beef. We got some Wagyu. This is on sale for $6 for all this meat. Everything costs about 35 bucks. Gotta love the pan. It's so cheap. We got a little, these sad looking coals. What's going on, Pops? These coals are looking sad. 
Joel Dunn is here and told him to come eat barbecue and he didn't think we were going to actually barbecue. He thought we were going to go out to eat, so he's pretty bummed. Uh, sorry, Jordan. Thought we were going to eat like once a quarter. This is not bad, though. First barbecue Look at him. Japan. Yeah, it's your first barbecue in Japan, man. Mm. And you're at the yard. You're freaking right. Yeah. yeah. And you got your oishi ginyu. Yeah, my oishi ginyu is not so oishi or something. Yeah, because you drink a gallon of milk a day. No, because right. it's not cold. It's oh, it's not cold? Rain. We gonna eat. Hey, Momo, mm -hmm. what's today? Mm -hmm. My graduation. Your graduation for what? I'm going to graduate your kid, then I'm going to go to Ichinese Shogaku. Momo's going to first grade. Today she's graduating kindergarten or Yochien. She'll be going to the same school as Coco now. Are you excited? You're going to go to the same school as your sister. Oh, yeah, here. She's going to help you with homework, and we're going to rock walk together. Yep. But if I get tired, <laughs> Sucks that Coco couldn't be here, huh, Momo? Yeah. But it's okay. Coco graduated last year, so it's Coco and Momo. This year, it's just Momo's graduation. I wish I could have took one of the cars, but nothing beats the Prius. <laughs> no, everything is kind of too low. Anyways, we'll see you guys in a bit. requested that I bring the cave in instead of any other car that I own. Why, Momo? Because 
This fan, I haven't seen it in years. <laughs> Wait, months. Do you miss it? Well, yeah, I miss it. Bringing it, going to school. Is it your favorite car ever? Yeah. Is and this... then the Honda. And then the Honda. Is this going to be your car when you grow up? Yeah, but it's going to get old. Yeah, you're going to get old too. Cars are old. <laughs> All my cars it's are gonna old. It's going to be brilliant. Like a 50 year old car. Coco was brought in the GTR to graduation. Momo gets the K van. K van's the best car in the world, huh, Momo? K is king. K is king. Okay, get in there. Your, your luxury VIP seats with your foot step. Sorry. Look at that. Oh, yeah. Look at you, girl. Gotta love it. All right, well, that's it. That's it for Momo's graduation. Aww, oh, little Momo. Okay, we're having more kids. Stop that. Stop with that. Stop we'll with that. We'll do this all over again. I'm okay. We're going to a really cool soba restaurant. Yeah. Apparently, I, I should film it. Remember this place that we pass every single time? I guess this is a restaurant. So this is an old house turned into a restaurant, I think. Well, it just opens for you. See that? See, why can't we just have a house like this? How cool is this? This is someone's house. Dang, this is cool. This is, imagine this is our house. That place good? Is it yummy? Your soba? Hey, I'm talking yeah. to you. Hey, look. Is it yummy? Yeah, I like it. Why yeah. didn't I didn't eat all of the soba? Wow. Okay. Hey, come on. Papa, I wanna change the seat. What do you think about soba? Is it meh? It's kind of bland. It's bland. Papa, <laughs> come good. over here. I'm full. I don't know what we're gonna get into today, but I think we're going snowboarding tomorrow. Again, I don't think I'm gonna film it. We're at Up Garage, guys. Luckily, we have one right next to the house, so I figured why not see if they have anything. Transition. I've been wanting these for a while. Chrome Meisters. What is that, $1,100 for a full set? That's freaking cheap. Sorry guys, don't ask me if I, you guys can buy these because I cannot ship parts. So many people ask me, but I can't do it right now until I get containers going. If you're local, I can get them for you. <laughs> I hate it when you say logo. <laughs> Look at these. Ad bands. Like 450 bucks for a set. Five by 100 though. Some TVs. 1900 bucks. Eight half, nine half though. 450 bucks for GTR floor mats. Who wants them? I actually need those because mine came with Nismo floor mats and I want OEM ones. Oh, they got a nice wood grain. Tax though, man. I remember when these things were 50 bucks. How times have changed. I guess I'll just get the NOS wheel. This is pretty sick though. Tripped out for a second. I thought it was only a thousand yen. There's no way this is at least 20,000. Oh, 15,000. This would be sick in the cave, man. Momo. Not much, huh? Got those up garage lug nut shift knobs that I always get. Little blinker, winker adapters, bubble knobs. Look how 
That's what I'm talking about. 2,500 bucks. 18 by 11, negative seven. These are fat. Look at the lips on these tees. So good. Seat section. Pretty cheap for a pair of Recaros. Oh, dang. Don't do this to me, Afraj. You know I'm a sucker for these. Ugh, I might have to just swoop it. I hate when they do this to me. I'm coming back for this. That's freaking way too cheap. Dang. Check this out. 250 bucks for some GTR headlights. That's cheap. Find crown headlights, Leah. You need new headlights for your crown. GTR front fenders. I think these have been here for a while, but 700 bucks is not that bad for OEM GTR fenders. These things are gonna be like two grand before you know it. These S15, guarantee S15. B and R34, dang. So confused. These are S15, these look like S15. So unorganized. What do you have a MR2 side skirt? 15 bucks. We got all the wings here. Megan. CRZ rear diffuser. Out of luck, boys. Nothing good. Are you guys ready? We, we failed. There's nothing good. Second hand store? All right, second hand store it is. Oh, the little B BSK is for the K. 400 bucks, but they're 15 by five and a half. So Hop Garage is right here. The place we're going is right here. I think I brought you guys here before. I've never brought Jordan. This is the biggest secondhand store ever. Right off the bat. Bape and Jay's Supreme. And it's in like one of those UFO catcher things. I'm telling you, they have everything. It sucks because they're playing music and I'm gonna get copyrighted. not too loud here but this place is super Otaka section for cards. I don't even know Dragon Ball made cards. They're like three bucks for one card. This is eight thousand yen for one. It's like fifty bucks for one card. They have all your gaming consoles there, all your games, and they have like a music center, guitars. It's just freaking endless. They got all the OG games. Sorry, I'm just scrolling past, but yeah, this place is crazy. All the N64 games. Who remembers N64? You don't remember N64. I do a little bit. I, I used to play this game. DK? Yeah. Donkey Kong? Oh, wait, no, not this one. It's Sari Gifte. Remember Sim City? If you know Sim City, remember yeah. Bomberman? Bomberman, Diddy Kong, Super Mario 64, I remember this. Mario Kart. Freaking nostalgic, dude. GameCube. There's the controller. I remember. So I don't think we ever got this in America, but this is the family computer in Japan. The games are so old school. For this. This one. is Famicom. Famicom. Okay, so it's Super Nintendo. That's what we call it. These are all Super Nintendo games, I guess. I don't know. I wasn't really playing that much games as a child. This is pretty crazy. This is, yeah, this is crazy. Like, if you want to get nostalgic, you just come here and buy the whole set. Final Fantasy. Dragon Ball. You know he died, yeah? The creator of Dragon really? Ball. Yeah, he just passed away last week. The R.I.P. This gets so random. There's freaking fishing equipment here next to the shoes. And then you have all your clothes. This place is full of stuff, guys. Bape and Supreme. Supreme backpack. It is flying. Who remembers these things? I do. Now we're in the Hot Wheels section. I lost Jordan and Leah. My phone's gonna die. Wait, this isn't the Hot Wheels section. Jordan got video games so he can study Japanese. Guys, if you guys, I don't know if there's any gamers out there, but you know Tales of Symphonia? And I got I Tales of Asperia. Tales of Asparagus and so Syntonia. Cool. Check this thing out, though. Boop, bro. Oh, it's green, bro. It's like the crown. Whoa, it is a crazy like color. Look at that. It is like the crown. Is it automatic? No. Nope. Oh, I want it. That's a fatty intercooler. Oh, it's a <laughs> Not as sick as the K Van, though. The K Van is freaking gangster, dude. My wheels cost more than the whole van. <laughs> Let's go. The K-Van is the best. It is. What are you talking about? It's the best. I mean, the Supra is pretty cool, but... K-Van's the best. K-Van is king. K is king. 
Look what we brought to the shop. It's freaking raining so bad. We brought Leah's S15 here because this is the next project on the list. We're gonna make this thing full blown drift car. We wanna do wide body. We wanna get it all sick. I know the interior is freaking pink. I got all the interior pieces, so I'm gonna change this out. That's on the list too. We got wheels for this thing already. Kits, whatever. I just gotta put the stock hood back on. I'm giving Nico this hood. The trunk has holes. Gonna put the trunk on from my old S15 stockpile of parts over here. Got the rear trunk. OEM hood is on my car, but I just ordered a carbon hood. That's coming in soon. I'm gonna put the OEM hood on this one. Leah's car is gonna be all different colors for now. We're ready, boys. This thing's gonna be sick when we're done. Still gonna be NA, but it'll be fun. Nico showed up with two cars from inventory that sold. These will be going off to Hawaii and Florida. So the plan today was to just drop this thing off, maybe throw it on the lift. Most importantly, these are going to the port tomorrow. So I gotta swap out the seats. Customer ordered some seats for this car and a steering wheel. Gotta install these things. It is freaking it's pouring rain guys so i don't know how efficient we can work today we're gonna try and do everything on the freaking truck so we don't have to unload since we gotta drop it off to the port tomorrow but let's start jamming all right so the plan is to move this a little bit back so this is no longer in the way so we can open the door now should make it a little bit easier to work on the car here we go <laughs> Nico. That's it. We're done. We're freaking done. Oh. The seats came out good. They matched the interior. Is she ready for the pulse? Then you're doing a